Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. The challenge with this question is that it goes counter to the information you may have memorized about the reactivity of acyl groups. If you look at this image here, you'll notice that as you go up in this image, the reactivity increases, which essentially means that the group highlighted in green, the acyl group, is better and better a leaving group as you move up. For instance, since chloride is such a good leaving group, it will easily be displaced by a water, an alcohol, or an amine. Therefore, you'll notice that it can react to form any one of these products. In this question stem, they're asking us about a carboxylic acid becoming an amide, which because carboxylic acids and amides are so close in reactivity, it isn't completely clear whether or not this carboxylic acid will easily form an amide if you add an amine group. In fact, what we actually see is that NH3, instead of acting as a nucleophile and attacking the electrophilic carbonyl carbon, it's actually gonna act as a base and steal the hydrogen from the OH group, as seen here. This is an exception to the rule that it doesn't hurt to be familiar with. For this reason, the answer to this question is answer choice D, carboxylate. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.